this video is a companion piece to my previous video, I Hate Capsule Wardrobes, where I poked a gentle fun at content creators who make capsule wardrobe videos and explained why I think these videos can hold us back and how they hurt us. Okay, sure, I have some criticisms, but I don't actually hate capsule wardrobes. I don't think they're the key to happiness, but watching capsule wardrobe videos has helped me let go of some of my hangups about clothing. I like clothes a lot, but I don't consider myself a fashion person. I've never had the budget or patience to buy designer pieces, follow all the trends. Part of my problem in the past is that I was trying to follow all the trends, even if they didn't look good on me or look good to me. I just wanted to show that I fit in and because I for sure wasn't gonna fit in because of what goes on in my brain, I thought I could use clothes to signal to people that I'm really normal. Look how normal and cool and normal I am in my on-trend outfit. I know what people like. I understand people. I, like most people, thought that more clothes were automatically better. And then I started watching capsule wardrobe content. These creators looked effortlessly stylish and I wanted that. And then my goal became to locate the perfect version of the white t-shirt or the white button-down shirt, you know, all those essentials. And once I had those, I would have the perfect wardrobe. Ah. I counted pieces in my wardrobe over and over and over again, trying to winnow down the clothes in my possession to a spelt collection of under 50 items. The closest I ever got was probably 70 items, until I just said fuck it and let go of a goal that I never needed to have in the first place. Now I have a much more relaxed relationship with clothing. I don't worry about having too many clothes, but I do apply many of the lessons I learned from capsule wardrobe videos to my current closet. When I see something I like, it's easier to identify why I like it and to take inspiration from it instead of a new idea for a purchase. So here's what I learned and love about capsule wardrobes. And if you love videos about living your best life, like and subscribe. It really helps to get this video out to a wider audience. I love that these videos taught me how I can easily identify what I like, what I don't like, and what I like on other people but don't want to wear, like most trends. Like now, when fucking low-rise jeans are back in style, I can easily say, not today, Satan while my inner 18-year-old wonders how these girls get their stomach so flat. High-rise pants for life! I love that a smaller wardrobe looks good on the hanger or in a drawer. And you might be thinking, who cares? But hear me out. Having a pretty wardrobe with space in between the hangers makes you want to go in there and wear your clothes. It's like having your own clothing store that's your favorite store that you're always excited to shop in. And isn't that the whole point of buying clothes, is to actually wear them? I love that capsule wardrobes limit your consumption, which is great from an environmental standpoint and an ethical standpoint. And even though I don't limit my consumption of clothing per se, I am much more intentional with what I buy. Because I'm not currently in a position to shop more sustainable brands, I make an effort to make my fast fashion clothes last longer. I made a video all about how to do laundry better. Check it out. Here's something that I learned. One thing that capsule wardrobers say is that everything in your capsule should go with everything else. And it's true, when everything goes together, it really is easier to get dressed. You don't have to think about it too hard. Even though I don't have a traditional capsule of 30 items, I actually did a good job with decluttering out wardrobe orphans. You know those pieces that don't really go with anything else, or they only go with like one specific thing, and if that's dirty, then you can't wear that thing? Wardrobe orphans. So almost everything in my closet goes together. I could probably grab things from my closet blindfolded and come up with an outfit that goes together and looks fairly put together. Here's another thing I learned. Speaking of decluttering, it's okay to let go of things. This helps you get over the sunk cost fallacy of clothing. In the past, if I ordered something online and it didn't fit, I would convince myself that I could make it work, even if I couldn't. Here's my tip. If you have to try garment on more than two times to see if it fits you, it is not for you. Move on. Here's another thing I learned, which feeds into my next point, that capsule wardrobes help you prioritize what's important. For me, I want to look good, but part of looking good is feeling comfortable. To me, that means clothes that fit well and are made of material that feels good on my skin. They don't make me overheated. Polyester, I'm looking at you. I've stopped wearing uncomfortable shoes, which for me means heels, but also shoes that rub my feet in the wrong way. If a pair of shoes pinches me and gives me a blister, they're out of there. No break-in period needed. I love that I learned that numbers aren't important, but they can help you in certain situations. I tried setting an arbitrary number of garments that should be in my wardrobe, and it wasn't helpful for me day to day. But packing for travel is so much easier for me now. It's also helpful if you have a compulsion to buy a certain article of clothing again and again. For example, I have two gray cardigans. I am not allowed to buy gray cardigans anymore. 
Having a limited wardrobe helps you know exactly what's in there so you don't buy more of the same and so you can see that you may have way too many of a certain type of garment. If you didn't catch the companion piece, why I hate capsule wardrobes, you can check it out here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.